Hey everyone, so um, today I'm doing a review on uh, Siren from the X-Men Marvel Legends series. Um, so this is a part of the uh, new Bonebreaker um, Build-A-Figure. Um, I found this at my <clears throat> toy shop, local toy shop, Toy Busters in Ashboro. Um, and this is the only one they had. Um, apparently like this wave is kind of getting spread out. Or, um, I mean they did in the past too, like with... <clears throat> like Target would do like a whole case of like Cyclops from Age of Apocalypse or something like that. You know, that's why you've seen those. So I guess they're doing something like that with this one. But um, <clears throat> she was definitely one out of the set that I wanted as an individual because we haven't got one. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, I like all these. I feel like I've seen like the previews of these. Definitely want to build a figure. That looks awesome. Um, very 90s. Just a... Uh, <laughs> Half man, half tank. That's just, you know, that's 90s. Um, Vulcan and Darwin look kind of boring, but everyone else looks great. I really like Megan. That new Sabretooth looks like it's going to be cool, but like, apparently this wave's not going to be fully released until like September or October, I think. Um, so she looks like Banshee. She is Banshee's daughter. Um, so it says here, <clears throat> and her uncle is Bly Tom Cassidy. Um, she's a good guy though. She's kind of like on like the, I don't know, not Generation X, but like one of the younger X-Men teams. Maybe Generation X, I'm not sure. Maybe New Mutants. But anyway, um, so it looks like we just get half of a tank and her and, you know, she's got fisted hands and kind of open hands out of the package. Um, that's pretty good, so... I'm kind of curious how these little wings will do because it's something kind of new. I'm interested in that. All right, so the only thing really to do is just open it up and see what it looks like. All right, so I got everything out of the package. Um, so I think the first thing I was looking at was this. It's a build figure piece. So it's basically going to be two parts, like another half that goes in here, and the torso is supposedly going to be right here. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, Army tank. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> uh, the tracks look like they move. Like you can kind of pull them. It's like a soft plastic. Um, but it doesn't feel like it would like, you know, rotate around. So, um, I mean, otherwise it looks pretty cool though. Um, Siren herself. So, I'm having some difficulty, like, getting her to stand. It's like her ankles don't, I don't know, it's just not moving or something. I don't know. Like, it's not bad, but it's like, I don't know. It's just like, she's kind of like that. Um, so, this piece right here with her wings is just kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like a very soft paper. Um... And it looks like it's attached to her inside her arm. Like, I thought it was just kind of hung up in there. But you can kind of see that it's there. Um, so when I was pulling on it, it was feeling like it was tearing or something like that. Um, I'm not sure if I really like that, though. Because, I don't know, I feel like it should be more... I don't know, lower? I don't know. I don't know much about Banshee because I always thought like Banshee's was more like higher or something like that. But, um, so if you move your arms up, I think it's too, is like this stuff just feels like it would kind of tear or something. I don't know. So I'm just trying to figure out like what will be a good pose for. I guess if you get her flying or something like that, you can kind of mess with it, but. Yeah, I don't know. Um, a lot of weird things going on here. Like, the face sculpt looks great. Like, I mean, it's very detailed and sharp looking. The hair looks great. It's kind of like that blowing in the wind thing. Um, I really would have liked, like, an alternate head that um, had her, like, open her mouth, like, welling. Otherwise, it just looks like she's flying. Because that's kind of how she would do or Vanshee would do is, like, they have like supersonic um, yells or whatever, I don't know. And um, they could fly because it would vibrate back into his wings and make him glide. So that was kind of the gist of it. 
Um, yeah, I thought it was a fun fact too. Um, the first appearance of Banshee, which is X Men 28, I believe, I actually had a copy of it back in the day. Um, pretty cool cover too. But um, yeah, it was like X Men, like six, 1967 or something like that. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of weird things going on here. <clears throat> like if you look underneath the, let me take her head off real quick. It's just like a green sculpt here. So when you look underneath, it's just um, green all the way. Um, so, and as far as her outfit, like it just, you know, it goes all the way up. So it's not really a neck. It's just like a full coat. So I'm not sure if I really like that. I feel like it should have been cut off at some point and merged into it. It's just, it's a really good head sculpt, but it looks really odd on this uh, ball joint though. Um, I mean, the body mold's really good. You know, they've picked out a good one. They didn't go with the heels, which I like that too, because it makes them easier to stand. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm just iffy about this pose, too. And so, basically, her wings are popped in with her wrist. It's more if you change hands, you have to kind of, like, put it through this. And then to her wrist. So, I mean, it seems pretty simple, but, you know, it's just what you got to do. Um, so, and the hands are just kind of straightforward, so that's what they look like. Um, I should probably do a pose like this. I guess I have to do kind of a reserve pose, like, because of the head and stuff. The head is a little wobbly, too, I know so as well. Um... And the hair kind of blocks that from her, like, kind of doing, like, a look-up thing. So I'm thinking if she flies, she would be, like, something like this. I don't know. I don't know from the back, it looks really good, though. It's just managing this thing. I don't know. And it's, it doesn't feel cheap, cheap, but kind of cheap. I don't know. Um... I mean, it's on there. I mean, it's good. It's like through her arms too. So you could probably pop her arm out and rearrange this if you wanted to. Um, only thing is, is imagine there's going to be like a hole here. Um, I was going to try because sometimes these shoulder joints are like really odd. Um, I don't know. I just keep messing with them. I'm like trying to think of like a good way to pose her. I'm thinking just... Kind of like a regular stands, you know, just something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I like it, but I'm not like, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's something like that. Just kind of like a pose like that with the hair. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I don't know, maybe I'll mess with some fishing line or a stand or something one day and give him a fly. What I thought was weird though was like, um, you know, I don't think we've ever gotten a banshee. Like, I, I sit there and think, like, you know, banshee is more popular than siren as far as I know. And I don't think we've ever gotten a banshee. Like, I mean, we've got one, it's not been recent, you know. Maybe early Hasbro, like, has I. I collected them like early Toy Biz, Marvel Legends, and you know, maybe late has or early Hasbro, or early late Toy Biz. They may have had it, but um, yeah, it wasn't me. Um, I mean, there's a lot of good here, too. I mean, one thing I want to point out, too, is like there's some kind of like paint spray over, too, so you can kind of see here in the ankles, like a little bit of green um, <clears throat> mixed in. So I'm assuming like this whole thing was green and then they just kind of sprayed the yellow paint and I don't know. They probably just time it on a machine and you know, it's not quite enough. I mean, otherwise it's a really good paint job. You know, it's like really done here. Got a good logo there. Um, you know, to me, like I think the face sculpt is just extremely done. Well done. The detail in the hair and everything, I think that really sells it. Um... I mean, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to give this like a 7. Um, you know, 
nice, especially when they're doing like $25 figures and stuff too. You know, obviously this is going to be a, I about guarantee this is going to be a big seller as far as Marvel Legends because of that Build-A-Figure though. That's like a very unique Build-A-Figure. So, um, which I definitely want to look forward to. I'll bring the box out real quick just to kind of take another look. So I'm trying to figure out like how her outfit goes. Like, this is the way I kind of imagine it. Like, I thought it would be, because it doesn't look connected to her shoulders at all. I thought it would just be like connected in the back or something like that. Um, I mean, for the most part, the outfit's pretty straightforward, you know? Um, I mean, as far as the paint goes, it's good. But yeah, I wanted to see like a head like this, like a kind of a welling face or something like that. That would have been really cool where she's blowing. Um, so yeah, I guess I just got these five to go. Probably gonna pass on this Wolverine because <clears throat> from the product shots, it looks just like another Wolverine tire stripe. And I've got like, I think I've got three tire stripe Wolverines. Um, so I'm good. I think I've got like six or seven Wolverines total. So, um, anyways, um, so this is sitting in your store. You've got it or anything like that. Just let me know what you think. And um, thank you for watching.